to May. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Literally just wiping the sweat oh, off yeah. of your jeans. You know this story, Jamila. I do. I love this story. I convinced May to tell this story today. So we have to be very kind and respectful of their privacy <laughs> as to who this is. I did, uh, I did the podcast before and I was like, I want to tell that story, but I tr surely cannot. But then... I I blackmailed you by telling you that it was for SAG and WGA yeah. Entertainment <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fund. Yeah, yeah. And so now here you are kindly telling me the okay. tale of human burrito. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I'm... Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> there was this person that I knew. I'm taking out all the context and details. This person that I knew, we'll call her Carl, and... <laughs> She, uh, we'd had like a flirtation and then one night she texts me and she goes, hey, I'm, I'm in London and I have um, nowhere to stay. Like the trains aren't running and can I come crash at your house? And I knew this was like, we didn't know each other that well and I'm sure she had tons of friends in London. So I was like, okay, I know what this is. So she comes over and, um, okay, do I need, wow, I'm thinking, okay. I should have practiced the story. I'll just tell it. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> first of all, two things. First of all, we will protect you in the edit. Second of all, yes. safe fucking space. Safe space. Circle okay, of okay, trust. Okay. So, it's strange right away. Like, right. it's right away strange. Uh, this is what you need to know. She's not drunk. I've, I am drunk. <laughs> I assumed that she would be coming over drunk. It was late. And so I'd like had a few drinks quickly. I get, I don't know, like 25 or something. And then, so she comes over and the first strange thing that happens is she says, can we uh, lie in your bed and pretend we're in a movie? So I'm like, what does that entail? <laughs> you know, like what? Also, uh, what kind of movie? Exactly, yeah. So, I, but it's like this like sort of romance. Like, and so we, we lie in my bed and... Uh, we start making out and right away, like, again, I'm like, this, uh, I'm like oh, I, this is going to be strange. I, I just know right away there's like, she's making these crazy noises and I haven't done anything <laughs> to warrant the noises. Like, what's happening with her is unconnected to anything I'm doing at all. So I, I know, you know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, it's like going to, it's maybe like a bit of a performance. It's or, a manic pixie dream girl performance. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. And I have roommates and I'm like, oh, okay. And then... um Okay. Wait, what kind of noises? Like sex noises? Like, <laughs> uh. Yes, t times 20. Like, like it's that, but it's like, like it's like so, it's like. Wait, so it was a cat. High. How, I should have warned loud you. Was it, was it very loud? <laughs> loud, loud, okay. loud, loud. Okay. And, um, and so we start <laughs> having sex and these details are, I, I, I'm a sex positive person. I think sometimes people take liberties because I think they I think they see me as, as you know okay so we started having sex and I was uh, wearing a see your stories didn't have the, this level of graphic detail but mine does but that's okay yeah, okay that's um, <laughs> so no no it's not but it's like so. This is, this is important to where the story ultimately ends up too. It's not like uh, gratuitous me saying this. So immediately she, so I'm, yeah, I'm wearing a strap on. Immediately she starts faking an orgasm and I, I have the same anatomy as her. I know this is, you know, but I'm like, <laughs> let it play out. Like this, like, you know, but genuinely like no judgment. That's, you and know. And how long would we say it takes? Uh, three minutes? Like it's just crazy. Like, oh uh, yeah, so I'm like, okay. As the fake orgasm happens with like the noises and everything, she um, pisses all over me, like <laughs> gallons of piss. Like, like it just is like coming out. Of, and so I start laughing really hard. <laughs> and I, but I'm also a, a nice, and so I'm like, maybe this by act. So I'm like, don't worry about it. Wait, she's is like, she on top? I'm on top. You're on top. She's pissed. Yeah, I'm on top. She just starts pissing. Yeah. Like a what, like the Trevi fountain. Like how is she? It's sort of going all over. Oh, yeah, me. right. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, then... gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> and she says it's not piss. Right. And I'm like, okay, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I'm pretty sure, you know. Did it smell like piss? You know, the signs were there. It like was it was. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I'm a sex positive person. Yeah. But I'm in my head. I'm like, change your sheets. So. Uh... <laughs> 
And it was just like the weirdness of the whole situation connected to the faking <laughs> of the orgasm, which I, and, and so then anyway, at a certain point I thought I got, I need to just go to bed and kind of end this experience. So we, I go to bed <laughs> we, I, uh, and I think I took like a bunch of melatonin or something to like s sleep hard. <laughs> and then I, so I, I wake up like eight hours later, slept so well and, um, I open my eyes and I can see, I'm, I'm really groggy and I can see that she's already fully dressed and she's getting ready to go. And, and she's been awake and she's like had a shower and she goes, hey, um, I, I, I shouldn't have done this. I have a girlfriend. I, I got it. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, that's another element of this. And she goes, I got to go. But anyway, and so I'm like, All right, okay, bye. And then, and then she leaves. And then I immediately remember, oh my God, my sheets. I got to change my sheets. And so I go to sit up. And I find that I can't. And I'm like, what is happening? And I realize I've been tucked in tightly to the bed, like in a hotel, and like around <laughs> the whole bed is tucked in and folded. And I'm tucked in so tight, like all around the bed. So like this, and it's kind of claustrophobic. I peel back oh God, oh God, oh the God, oh duvet, God. there is, a pile of poo in my bed. I know. So this is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh. So it's not like um, a skid mark on my sheet. It's like, it is the size of a small plate. It's like <laughs> a pile. It's like three, it's not like a, a turd. It's like a pile of loose poo which I've been tucked into bed with. Like, <laughs> oh I know. And, oh and, and so my mind is... Uh, May, it was just squirt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's also squirt. That's also squirt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I start screaming and um, I run into my kitchen. All my, I'm, all my roommates are my friends. They come running. I'm like, guys. <laughs> you got to see this <laughs> and then they so they come into my room and we're, we're all screaming and um <laughs> so <laughs> i but I, again like my first thought is like oh my god she must be so embarrassed she had an accident while i was asleep like something but then like the more i think about it the more i'm like but she got up she had a shower she she made no attempt to clean it up she tucked me into it yeah, yeah. like and she knew that she did it like the volume of poo was like she would have known in the shower she would have like it's just so many quite so i'm like this is so fucked so i throw out all my sheets and the garbage and everything and then i i'm like i'll never hear from her again i bet two hours later i get a text and the wording of it is so fascinating because she goes hey that was amazing i I want to do it again exactly the same way. So those, what? Yeah. No. Those are the specific words. So I'm like, I, I didn't respond. And actually, that's such a lie. I think I was like, <laughs> it was great. Yeah. I, but I didn't know what to do because I was like, I, I still in my mind, I'm like, surely this was just an accident. And this is and I, anyway. I think she might be a genius, though, because I think what she did was try to give herself like a head start to yeah. by the time you discover it you can't get out and like <laughs> yeah, run yeah, after yeah, her yeah. I but think. she like why would wouldn't she just clean herself up and go like, yeah just she like showered she also i mean did you look anywhere on your neck for like a needle mark because <laughs> oh you're because you're like i must have taken melatonin she drugged you and shit on you <laughs> I mean, that's her kink no, I know I took a bunch of stuff to sleep. Like, I know I was like, I will need to just knock myself out. But it is the boldness of like, I could have woken up. She, I'm like, when did it happen? Like, was it during the sex? I don't think so. I think it was while I was asleep. And then, yes. Yeah, so then I'm telling this story to everyone that I meet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, losing my mind about it. And But again, I have, I mean, I still have this like sort of guilt about telling it because I'm like, you know, sex is so intimate maybe but then i'm like this is fucked and then <laughs> so okay years later i love a years later epilogue yeah, we've had a couple yeah. of those <laughs> years later i'm with my friend in a pub and my friend goes oh my god my friend had sex with this girl the other day and the craziest thing happened i'm like what and he describes or she describes i i can't like the girl 
the I can't say the details. Carl. But yeah, Carl. Yeah, and uh, hot Carl. Hot Carl. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and um, basically, her friend, this guy, was having sex with her, and she was on top, and she during sex got off and did a shit on his chest, non consensual shit. So now I know it's a kink. I'm like, okay, I can. I can now like own the story because that was bizarre. That was insane. That's out and outrageous. I, it's outrageous, and I will never, I'll never talk to her about it. I'm too. I know I'll never bring it up, and I have bumped into her once or twice, and it's like we both know that this happened, and I. Well, may we? We have her here tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, Round of applause for May being so generous and telling us that story. They really didn't want to. In a way, like she she gave me the greatest gift because I've dined out on that story like for years. Oh no, she gave us all the greatest <laughs> gift. Um, Sarah said it was the greatest night of her life already. I mean, I can't. I just like you know when you hear a story and you just can't wait to tell someone else. I'm just like yeah. sitting here waiting for this show to be over <laughs> to tell someone else. Yeah, yeah. Bad Dates is produced by Smartless Media and Wondery, created by Robert Cohen. Executive producers are Robert Cohen and Jamila Jamil. That's me. Produced by Stuart Bailey. Produced, engineered, and edited by Devin Torrey Bryant. Also engineered and edited by Kyle McGraw. Talent producer is Anne Harris. Associate producer is Maddie McCann. Music by Cushy and Evan Schletter. Executive producers are Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes. Executive producers for Smartless Media are Richard Coulson and Bernie Kaminsky. If you've had a bad day and you'd like to tell us all about it, our number is 984-265-3283 and our email is baddatespod at gmail.com. We can't wait to hear all about it. That's all for this week. We will see you next time for more Bad Dates.